many of you recognize this tool brand. I'm sure most of the hand tool enthusiasts know about this brand, the Hazet. This is a long awaiting video and finally I'm presenting you a series of videos of Hazet history and my visit to the Hazet factories. Oh, that is my favorite actually. Sorry, I'm just... I want that one. Wow, guys, can you imagine? This is high one, seriously. <laughs> if some bad cus customer comes to you, <laughs> some. I owned a lot of hazard tools and reviewed most of them. I always get fascination of German technology. There's something about German engineering, and hazard is no different. It is one of the most renowned tool manufacturing companies in Europe. And I'm the only YouTuber who visited all four factories of HZ. Stop it. Get some help. Damn! Okay, there are a couple of YouTubers who visited their one or two plants. But I'm the only YouTuber who visited all their four plants. At least they told me like that. 18th and 19th centuries are famous for two major phenomena. Industrial revolution and some of the deadliest wars ever in human history which changed the course of world economically and socially. Before industrialization, most European countries were having farming and artisan handcraft on small scale. But industrial revolution has changed the societies, maths, businesses, economies of the world, especially Europe. While the industrial revolution was at its beginning, there was a village Ramscheid, later became third largest city in that area. A young intelligent metal enthusiast, Hermann Zerber was born. He was intelligent, smart and anticipated the bright future of metal industry. He indeed founded one of the most prestigious and pre-manufacturing companies in the world. This is the story of Hazet and how it became one of the best automotive tool manufacturers in the world. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring. Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink who can catch me when I'm falling. Cover up my scars, flip the handlebar. In my car, wake up in a bar, I'll be a superstar, just on my avatar. This world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir. Yeah. Hazard was founded by Hermann Zerber, hence the name derived from his name. In German, Ha pronounced as Ha and Z pronounced as Z. Ha Z. Now, if you look into the Zerber family background, it goes back to the Weringhausen, a district in Reimscheid. The area was barren, had less production of agriculture, which was not enough for the needs of the people. People started trading in metal industry like hammers and horse wagons, metal accessories, which boosted the industry of metallurgy. Ramshire started to flourish with its hammer mills and grinderies industry. In 18th century, 600 different forge products were made, nearly 100 water powered workshops, and 570 forges. That included axes, chisels, drills, files, saws, pliers, as well as coffee grinders, sugar tongs, smoothing iron, and many more. Hermann was born to Johann David Zerber family. Johann was already in a toolsmith business. One interesting fact of John David Zerber, the father of Hermann was producing hills of American cavalry saber in his forging workshops. Americans were already using German quality products. During Hermann's young days, he got his training under his father as a toolsmith. In 1864, 10 years after his apprenticeships, Hermann was earning sufficient money to set up a family with his wife Maria Hedman. In 
In 1868, the 27-years-old Herbert Zerber took a bold step of becoming self-employed and rented a small house of his own in Waring House and Side. Work and domestic life now looked their course under a single roof. The family lived in upper stories while the forge was accommodated downstairs in a basement. Reminded me Ernest Schwarzenegger who has no money to join the gym and was working out in a basement with random weights in his early days. Forging the tools used to be done in a basement workshop and that was the normal practices in those times. The basement workshop was equipped with impact tools, anvil and smithy hearth with hand operated bellows. The workshop did not just stop here. Herman hired an employee and increased the production and began to manufacturing the plain iron hinges saw set of making of saws. Business grew hence the production. Herman hired more employees. It was also the time of different wars of Franco Prussians. The war ended in 1871 and the German Empire from the period of that time rose. Industrial production increases, railway networks further expanded. Ramshad industry also took an advantage of this flourishing economy. But the sudden economic crisis hit the metal industry later. But Herman was a smart businessman and survived the crisis. He moved to the new premises he acquired from his brother. Herman now had new and more modern residential building with smithy attached. With the German economy grew back, purchases of steam and even more modern gas engines in addition to expansion of railways resulted in a new resurgence. Herman Zerber's business also flourished. The enlargement of his range of product attached new customers. Pipe wrenches and combination of pliers were now the part of production, while bicycle spanners and shoe button fasteners also attracted new customers. The firm has grown even further by 1890. A self-designed manually operated drop forge hammer was now in use. In the beginning of the new century in 1905, at the age of 65, Herman decided to retire from the company and hand it over to his sons, Ernst and Max David. Company kept growing, next generation was taking the legacy of his father. In early days, the logo of Hazet was with small letters, and the letter after 1965, it changed to the capital letters. After 70 years, in 1938, the most serious problem company faced was lack of space due to its increased demand in production. The company decided to build a new area. They bought 40,000 square meters of area in 1938 in Golden Worth. And with the growth of the company, the economy of the country took another turn. The World War happened. Hans Zerber, the son of Hermann, joined the Nazi Party, or NSDAP, on 1st of May 1933. There are speculation he joined the Nazis just to take the company out of the war crisis period and saw opportunity for the growth. And some believe he was nationalist, but no one is certain what was the motivation. Ernst Zerber died in 1943 in the war and his role during the Nazi period was thus not examined in any of the trials held by Allies after the war had ended. In 1943, Hazard factory unit in Waring House and Plant was destroyed badly by air raid. Now the company took over the Hans and Alfred Zerber, his two successor, both were also member of NSDP. The date on which they joined can be found in the preserved central membership records of NSDAP in the Berlin. Hans is registered as a member from 1st August 1935 onward, Alfred from 1st October 1939. Their membership too was probably more of the formality. During that time, it was necessary as the head of the company to maintain good business relation with the German state. The proceeding again, the two after the war was ended, put them into category 4, which classifies as a passive beneficiaries. The two were confirmed their obligations and continued to pursue their business interests as far as they were able to. Hans served as a driver in motorized military police 
and short period of time as a purchasing master for military vehicle tools. He was transferred to the Africa in its convoy and served as a truck driver. During the retreat in Tunisia, he spent four years of captivity of British Army and then America. He was able to return in Ramshad in 1947 after years of hardship. On the other hand, his cousin Alfred was taking care of his family business during that time. Thanks to his production tools of motor vehicle, Hazard had by the start of the World War at least been classified as a company of strategic importance and for that reason received priority allocations for material and labor. Nor did the company suffer at the start of the war from the loss of the employees. During the war, there was lots of shortage of labor due to military recruitments. During 1940, lots of labor exchange programs were implemented. Many workers from Poland, France, and Italy joined the Hazet as an exchange program. Inside of the company's premises, workers were provided living huts in the plant site of Goldenworth. According to the records, their employment ended on 14th of April 1945, a day which Ramshed was occupied by American troops. Almost all companies in Ramshed had those forced labor and Hazard is no exception and the company needed to fulfill their production needs too. However, in year 2000, Hazard compensated for injustice done by its name among many others during Second World War. The company contributed to federal German government foundation called Remembrance, Responsibility and Future. Honestly, I like how the company is paying back to compensate its past. Back to 1943, on the night of 30th and 31st July, the tool-making city of Ramchet was targeted on a large scale, raided by RAF. Within an hour, 228 Lancaster bombers had dropped. 704 tons of high explosive bombs destroyed the large portion of the city center. The casualty roll listed 1100 dead and approximately 6500 injured. Hazard facility in Weringhausen which suffered extensive damage from the bombs, in particular the new plant. The war was ended, Germany was devastated. At Yalta conference in February 1945, the country was divided into four occupation zones, American, Britain, French, and Russia. Now the Ramshed was under British zone. The Second World War was about to enter its final and most dramatic stage. Production in Ramshed factories, including Hazard tool making plant was at standstill. In August 1945, under occupation, Hazard resumed its production activities, but not lasted long. Alfred Server had whole responsibility to the company, and Hans Server was yet to release. He was in prison camp of United States of Virginia and serving in the camp office in the absence of Hans. Alfred Server faced lots of difficulties to reconstruct the business. Slowly, production started to get its pace. Alfred found two highly capable personnel to help him out in his business. Werner Thyme, plant manager. Werner provided lots of support to Alfred. The other person who helped Alfred was Walter Hermes, a very close friend and right-handed man. Under the management of Werner and Walter, the production started to get better and better under their supervision management. Interestingly, in 1947, Walter Hermes became self-employed rep in Frankfurt and short time later founded Walter Hermes KG as Hazard accredited dealership for the territory of Hesse. As soon as the business was getting better, a sudden cold wave hit the nation with minus 20 degrees Celsius. It was recognized as the coldest cold wave of 20th centuries of Germany. Supplies of raw material and food broke down completely. There was not enough fuel for the industry or even for the homes. 
things never been so hard the population was hungry and freezing in summer 1947 life of the people of british zone of occupation to which ramshad belonged was slowly beginning to return to the normal 1947 was also good year for hazard family alfred's home rejoiced their second child and hans were finally returned back after years of hardship captivity In 1950 to onward German industry growth was skyrocketing mechanical chemical and electrical industries was booming economy risen from 79 to whopping 300 billion deutsche mark the biggest car industry was Volkswagen Beetle total motor vehicle production in germany was quintupled by 1960 with german exports becoming in parallel the federal republic product identifiable by their familiar made in germany tag this signified the glory and high quality of the entire world that is why i love made in germany quality of german main products are second to none that is why hazard is the name of the quality economy was at its peak income rose while living costs remained stable prices for now mass produced technical products such as radios tv sets fridges and washing machines and also for the cars fell in the same period the people were now at least able to afford things they could previously only dream of the rapid economic growth of this era also made its marks on ramshad industry and thus on the order books of tool makers hazze Now the Hazard family enjoying the success after suffering from hardships of economic crisis and war destruction. Hazard kept growing. Hazard family attraction to the cars and motor racing brought new ideas to the company. Hans daughter start to take interest in cars and here is a picture of Hans daughters with Veritas racing cars. If you guys don't know, let me tell you in brief. Veritas was West German post World War II sports and race company. These cars were badass. Die Neukonstruktionen von BMW lagen an der Spitze. The interest of Hazard family into cars brought new ideas of designing on board tool kits for Volkswagen Beetle. Hence the legendary tourist tour kit was born in 1952. Tourist became a rapid commercial success. This brought new customers for Hazard from other car manufacturing and different style tour kits were designed specific to each company and each new car model. Hazard now entered to the car world producing specialized tools on demand for the car companies as well as for the workshops. Each tool was carefully designed for specific needs. Alfred Zerber had simple but inspired idea of developing a mobile tool trolley which was marketed under the name of Hazet Assistant 160 another legendary product from Hazet year passing by Hazet Assistant trolley design kept improving according to the needs of automotive industry and subsequently other industries adopted the mobile trolley as well after automotive industry followed by electrical and furniture industry assistant trolleys were must into their workshops in 1959 it became company's leading product with total production figure of 25000 units in a single year already in 1958 hazard is now the biggest supplier of specialized tools specific to each new model car of many premium car companies of Germany such as Mercedes, BMW, Volkswagen, Merck and many other brands. Alfred was busy in technical side of the company where Hans was busy in expanding the business beyond the country. Hans was taking care of marketing and promotion. Hazard kept appearing in German and international trade fairs. Those exhibition center witnesses hundred of thousand visitors in early 1950s. Hazard exhibit 
its presence at international motor shows in Amsterdam, Brussels, Stockholm and Geneva. Within few years, Hazard expanded to 19 countries and 14 of them were in Europe. There were four branches in South America and one in Australia. End of 1960s, Hazard became a global company supply tools all over the world. After 1960s, Hazard changed his Hazard trademark from small letters to the capital letters. I have couple of ratchets from that time with Hazard logo in small letters. Isn't it cool? In modern day, Hazard is one of the most reputed automotive tool manufacturers of the world. The reputation is so good that the old tools from Hazard has cult following. Tourist kit of Beetle and Hazard assistant trolleys are prime example. Currently, Hazard have four main plants. Plant 1 in Ramscheid is one of the most advanced in Europe. From the forge to the CNC controlled production, the most advanced technology paired with solid professional experiences accompanies the production process. The plant to Hansberg, a company design according to the latest technology finding, is situated in the border of triangle between Germany, Belgium and Holland with good transport connection an hour away from Ramshed by car. With regard to the European market, the spaciously laid out logistics center is located there. The Ramshed based Hazard plant number no. 3 contains one of the most modern computerized operated powder system in the Germany. A welded robot, a fully automated laser cutting system and punching and bending center ensure future top performances in sheet metal forming. In addition to diverse sheet metal forming methods, a well-known assistant tool trolleys are made here. Thor Technology has found its home at Hazard Plant No. 4 in Ramscheid, Beringhausen. The Hazard Precision torque wrenches are made, mounted and calibrated there. Now Hazard offers over 60,000 products. Company I keep growing uh, and the legacy is the same. Or, or How about if uh, you said 2,000 Newton meters, where you do calibrate that? In, in, the, in the calibration laboratory. I have seen many posts and questions on internet in different social media platforms regarding doubting on Hazard being made in the countries other than Germany. 70 to 85 percent of Hazard products still made in Germany. Yes, we are one who build or produce a lot of things nearly 75 percent by our own. Hazard came from a long way. It has seen ups and downs, food crisis, hunger, blood, energy crisis, deadly cold years, many wars and deadliest bombs and destructions. But Hazard stood tall and going strong. Hermann Zermer was a genius. He and his successor gave the world one of the best tool manufacturers in the world. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Now the next video in this series would be on my visit to the Hazard factories. So stay tuned. If you are not subscriber yet, consider to subscribe. Thanks for coming along. I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Guys, can you imagine how lucky I am? I'm in a, my dream company and uh, they are offering me food also. <laughs> <laughs>